Hey everyone, Strongman here. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Christopher Bale. I'm a certified CPA accountant. I'm a long-term bogleheaded investor. I'm author of the book, Stop Being a Broke Loser. It's on Amazon, links in the description. And I wanna talk about my thoughts on the recent debate slash interview, whatever that was, between me and Meet Kevin, or as I also like to call him, Meet Breath. It's a pretty good nickname. Now, the first thing I want to address is all the complaints and the griping and the you know whating can't say those nasty words, about me no longer going after me, Kevin, 24-7. Well, guess what? I really don't give a crap what you think, okay? If you get butt hurt because I don't make a thousand freaking videos about me, Kevin, right after he decides and agrees to come on my channel and talk to me face to face, then you can go somewhere else, all right? The guy had the balls to come on my channel and face my criticism and answer the questions. And I think I asked him some hard questions. Now, what else? So I was reading the comments and I feel like most people thought that the debate slash interview went pretty well and that they saw both our points of view. What I also saw was a lot of people saying that, well, I guess Strongman doesn't believe in individual responsibility, which is pretty freaking sad because of course I do. But at the same time, I still think it's wrong to charge people up to $1,000 for a course when you really don't have, in my opinion, the freaking credentials to be doing so. And on top of that, you're also losing people tons of freaking money by recommending trash stocks, which happened recently with uh, me, Kevin's channel. So yes, I believe in individual responsibility, but I think a lot of YouTubers have an ethical duty to not preach a bunch of freaking garbage or at least give a responsible message before they start talking about individual stocks. Like, hey, you should max your tax advantage accounts first and buy broadly diversified index funds before you even freaking consider following my stock trades. And you should only do so with a couple percentage points of your portfolio, which is fine with me. I actually 100% agree with that. I have no problem with that. But a lot of these YouTubers don't do that. They just pump out stocks. They pump out the latest fad, crypto. And a lot of people get hurt, especially new investors, which turns them off from investing. It annihilates their wealth. And it basically sets them up to have a crappy retirement if they retire at all. Now, it's not going to be funny you know, haha, -ha, individual responsibility. It's not going to be funny if you're one of these people that got screwed and then you can't retire because you lost all your money and you're working at freaking Walmart in your 70s greeting people. Welcome to Walmart. Yeah, I'm sure you want to do that. Now, what, what was my impression of Meet Kevin? Well, he's kind of exactly what I expected him to be. A freaking politician. All right. I'm not political in any way, shape, or form. I'm pretty direct. I'm pretty upfront. I'm pretty forward. I'm not crafty or, you know, snake oily. When I confront somebody, I ask them direct questions and I expect direct answers. Now, a lot of the questions I asked about, you know, are you front running? Are you buying securities and then pumping them on your channel to benefit yourself? Stuff like that. I don't really feel like I got very good answers. I feel like the guy knows how to just talk and talk and talk and talk his way out of anything. So he's very, he's very crafty. He's a very crafty guy. I'll give him that. So, I mean, I could have been more direct. I kept hammering the question. Hey, answer the question. But you know, that's just what happened. So yeah, he, he was definitely, he was definitely very, very, very tricky and didn't answer a lot of my questions truthfully or not truthfully, but directly. Now, based on my questions and his answers, you can form your own opinion on, you know, whether you think what he's doing is right or wrong. That's for you to decide. But I think overall, like when it was over, I felt pretty freaking good about it. Now, a lot of you clowns, you also criticize me because you're like, you weren't hard on him, bro. You weren't mean enough, bro, like your YouTube videos. Well, guess what? If somebody comes on your freaking channel Okay, even if you've been obnoxious in videos about them, you have to at least give them a modicum of respect for having the balls to come on and face you face to face. Okay, so I wasn't going to get on there and play a video of Meat Spin, you know, <laughs> I have a couple videos of him on there 
And I wasn't going to, you know, yell and scream and, you know, froth at the mouth because that's not a way to really get your point across and have a healthy debate, interview, whatever it was. So I don't want to hear your freaking complaining about that either, okay? You should have been me. You should have punched him in the face. You should have called him his poopy fart scumbag right off the bat. Yeah, I'm sure that would have facilitated the conversation. I'm sure he would have stayed if I just went into a freaking rant, frothing at the mouth. <laughs> Just yelling at him and, you know, not even getting any kind of conversation in. I wanted him to freaking get my questions and answer them. And, I mean, he he definitely gave answers. I don't think they were very direct answers, but he definitely gave answers to the questions. So, I'm really happy with how it went, okay? Now, going forward, what am I going to do? Well, am I ever going to make videos about me, Kevin, again? Absolutely, freaking lootly all right? But right now, I feel pretty victorious, and I feel like I, you know, got what I wanted. I was able to get him, guy with 1.8 million subscribers, on my channel to have a healthy conversation, debate, interview, whatever it was. And I got what I wanted. I'm pretty happy about it, all right? Let's see a lot of you clowns get me Kevin on your channel, you freaking complaining losers. Yeah, you weren't hard enough. Well, well, you need to keep talking about him. I will definitely talk about him again, okay? He's not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere at all. You know he can't give up his freaking course sales, and he can't give up that ad revenue. He's going to keep doing the same thing he's been freaking doing. There's going to be plenty of opportunities to keep criticizing him. But right now, I'm satisfied with what I got. I got him to come on my channel and answer my questions, and it was great. And I got some tindies, chicken tindies. Now, going forward... I'm focusing on Jeremy Financial Education, okay, right? He's the next um, bowling pin, whatever you call it. He's the next target that I'm going for. We'll keep it simple. He's the next person that I'm going for. I think he's pretty scummy. I think he's a disgusting person. And I think he's actually worse than me, Kevin, in a lot of ways. First of all, because I don't think he's nearly as intelligent as me, Kevin. <laughs> that guy is not very smart. Freaking gas station manager. And he charges way more for his course than Kevin. So, like I've said a thousand times, Jeremy charges, God, up to $20,000 for private coaching slash, you know, yada, yada, yada. Teachable Discord, which is pretty freaking ridiculous, okay? That's scumming at a whole new level. And on top of that, all his stocks have been annihilated. You know, he's, he's supposed to be a guy that teaches you how to build... Wealth quickly, you know, he's got flashy cars in the back of all his ads. I wonder what he's trying to imply there. Oh, you could be rich and flashy, you know, by investing with me, learning how to invest with me. It's pretty freaking sad. But all his stocks have been annihilated, and it's it's fun to watch. So I think he needs to be confronted and come on my channel and talk to me. But he's kind of a coward, so I don't think he'll do it. But yes, in the short term, I'm going to focus on Jeremy. You know, I'll keep going at him. If he doesn't take the bait, whatever. Whatever. There's a thousand more grifters on YouTube. But yes, I'll definitely talk about me, Kevin, again. So I hear you're freaking complaining about it. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to go try to do my taxes over my lunch break before I have to get back to work. Choose.